hello guys in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a function that will find prime numbers from 0 to n so the first thing we need to do is we need to create the python file so I'm using pycharm this will be how I will do it python file I'll name it prime numbers In this tutorial we we'll use the square root method uh, so the first thing we need to do is we need to import math module this is a module that con that will contain the square root function so we import math The next thing we need to do is we need to define our function, call it prime. So we'll pass in the value that will be the maximum value. So we'll be finding prime numbers from 0 to n. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to say that for number in range for any number in range n Now for factor, factor in range, so let's remember that uh, we expect our prime numbers to be any number between 2 to n. So any number between 2 to n. So by the factors now we expect our factors to be from again from 2 from 2 to the square root of i which is that number the square root of that number so obviously we expect the factors of that number to be less than the square root of that number so we'll do first of all we'll convert it to integer because remember square roots will be floats mostly so square root of i plus one I'm sure you understand why guys because Python doesn't always count the last number so you have to add one so that the the square root the integer rounded rounded down will be will be included So now, if the number di divided by modulus j, if it is exactly equal, there is no remainder, that means it, it has found a factor 
so what does it do it breaks it breaks from the inner for loop and then now with what we do we again if it doesn't find a factor we expect it to make a list let's create a list here of prime numbers let's call it prime num and then what we'll do if it doesn't find a factor that means it is a prime number it will append that number to that list to prime num list so prime num dot append dot append i and then the next thing we do is just return the list of prime numbers which is prime num what you do now is just print print uh, prime numbers prime numbers let's say up to 65 Let's run. So there is our list. No, there must be an error here. Prime num. sorry yes there is an error here else eh? else else what do we do we append we append this for else so if there is no loop what do we do else append so let's run again yes now there are the prime numbers between 2 and 65 so that's it guys thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos bye bye